just want to give you a quick update or preview of Flexi version 21 for Mac. Uh, this is running on a MacBook Pro touch bar, so it is on current Macs. It's right here in my toolbar. It looks very much the same as it does on the uh, Windows version. See right now it's Flexi Design for Mac. The, uh, it does not have any output directly to a plotter or a cutter. If you wanted to output from it, you have to send it to a Windows PC that is running a RIP. So whether it's uh, Production Manager, uh, Verseworks, uh, Verseworks Dual, the uh, Verseworks 6, can send to Rasterlink, or it can send to Onyx. It does have all your cloud settings just like it looks in the Windows version. It has some nice features too, just like your Windows versions of being able to add um, contour marks right in your file if you like. Here are the plotter marks that it is built in, built to recognize. But you can put them in, save them, send them right with your file and then open it up or cut it from a Windows machine. Just a quick rundown. You'll see things look very similar. A uh, few word changes, but other than that, it's pretty much the same. I noticed most of the items are here, just the same as the uh, Windows Flexi Design version. The only limitations that they said there was going to be is some of the vectorizing, but it seems to work pretty pretty good. Um, they did include the Make Transparency um, for easy contour cuts on images which works really well so overall I've been pretty happy with it if you want to send out to one of your rips you can customize the file select your queue or your preset all you have to do is find this path it has to go to your hot folders so if it was Verseworks it would go into the Verseworks application on a Windows PC via a map drive or a shared drive and it would just drop it right into those hot folders. Uh, same thing with Onyx, you'd go right into your inputs, it would drop it right into one of the quick sets, you would rip it automatically with those settings, appear in Onyx and be ready to print or cut right from there. If we had an item selected when you send it out, we also have the set it as a selection only if you did have items on there you don't want to go along with your print. Well that, it looks very similar. Um, hopefully I'll get some more in-depth tutorials for you and you can see if this will work for you.